Animal mating behaviors are fascinating and diverse, with each species having its own unique strategies for attracting mates, competing for partners, and reproducing. The wilderness is home to a wide range of iconic animals, each with its own unique mating behaviors. From the violent battles of lions and hyenas to the complex rituals of elephants and giraffes, animal mating behavior provides a window into the intricate web of life and death that exists in ecosystems around the world. Get ready to experience the wonder of nature as we take a closer look at the mating behavior of animals in the wild. Hyena mating. Have you ever heard of a female animal with an 8 centimeter in length penis? Well, these fascinating creatures have unique anatomy, unlike anything you've seen before. Female hyenas have large external genitalia that resembles a penis. Hyenas use their pseudo-penises not just for peeing and mating, but also to show dominance over other females. It's like having a secret weapon in the animal kingdom. Female hyenas are the dominant sex. During the mating season, male hyenas would approach a female who is in heat and attempt to mount her. If the male is persistent and manages to mount the female, he will need to navigate her pseudo-penis. This can be a difficult process, as the female may clamp down on the male's penis with her pseudo-penis, making it difficult for him to withdraw. In some cases, the male may even be injured or killed during the mating process. African Wild Dog Mating in African wild dogs is a complex process that involves several stages. The dominant male and female individuals within the pack typically mate and produce a litter of up to 20 pups. Once the female is pregnant, the pack will take on a nursery role, with members caring for the pregnant female and her pups. After the pups are born, the pack will help care for them, regurgitating food to feed them and providing protection from predators. In addition to their unique reproductive system, African wild dogs also engage in a behavior called social monogamy, which means that the dominant male and female individuals will form a pair bond and remain together throughout their lives. However, this does not necessarily mean that they are sexually exclusive, as they may mate with other pack members as well. Overall, mating in African wild dogs is a complex and social process that involves cooperation and support from the entire pack. Zebra mating. During the mating process, male zebras will often bite the necks of females. This behavior is thought to help keep the female still and prevent her from running away. Female zebras often engage in a behavior called teasing, where they will approach a male and then run away, enticing the male to chase after them. This behavior may help females to choose a strong and healthy mate. Once a female has mated, she will carry her foal for around 12 to 14 months. When the foal is born, it is able to stand and walk within minutes. One of the biggest threats to zebra foals after birth is predation by lions. Lions are the primary predators of zebras and they will often target vulnerable foals. However, despite the risks, zebra foals have a relatively high survival rate, with around 50% of foals surviving to adulthood. Chimpanzee mating. Chimpanzees are one of the few non-human animals known to engage in face-to-face -face copulation, where the male and female directly face each other during mating. Female chimps have been observed to use sticks and other objects to simulate sexual acts, suggesting that they may also engage in sexual behaviors for pleasure and not just reproduction. When a female is in estrus, she becomes highly attractive to the males. Unlike many other primates, chimpanzee females are sexually receptive year-round, rather than being restricted to a specific breeding season. Chimpanzees also engage in courtship behaviors, such as grooming and embracing to establish social bonds and potentially improve their chances of mating. In addition, females have been known to initiate mating by presenting themselves to males, often with vocalizations and body postures. In some cases, males will engage in behaviors such as offering food or sharing tools with females in order to court them for mating. Mongoose mating. During mongoose mating, the male often approaches the female aggressively, biting and scratching her neck and back. This behavior is believed to be a way for the male to assert dominance and maintain control over the female during copulation. During mating, the male mounts the female from behind and grips her by the neck. 
Copulation may last from a few seconds to several minutes and may be repeated multiple times over several days. After mating, the male may remain with the female for a period of time to ensure that no other males mate with her. After mating, the gestation period for mongooses is around 60 days, and litters can range from one to six pups. Mongoose pups are born blind and helpless and rely on their mother for warmth and nourishment. The father may also assist in rearing the young as mongoose colonies are known to exhibit cooperative breeding behavior. Ostrich mating. The mating rituals of ostriches are a spectacle to behold, with females being incredibly choosy in their selection of a mate. The females put the male through a rigorous test of his stamina, leading him on a chase where he must keep up with their impressive speed of 40 miles per hour. Ostriches are known for their unique and elaborate mating ritual. The male ostrich will perform a dramatic dance to attract a female mate. If the female is impressed with his performance, she will join in the dance and the two will mate. During the actual mating process, the male will mount the female and rapidly move his tail feathers up and down while making a booming sound. This helps to stimulate the female and increase the chances of fertilization. Ostriches are known for their monogamous mating habits, with a pair usually mating for life. Tiger mating. Tiger mating is an intense and often violent affair. The male tiger initiates the mating process by rubbing his head and body against the female's flanks. If the female is receptive, she will allow the male to mount her. Copulation may last up to several minutes, during which the male tiger holds onto the female's neck with his teeth. Tigers are not social animals, and males and females typically only come together for mating. In the wild, mating season for tigers usually occurs between November and April. Interestingly, female tigers are capable of induced ovulation, meaning that they will not ovulate until they have mated. This ensures that the female's eggs are only fertilized by the strongest and most dominant males. Male tigers have been known to kill cubs that are not their own in order to bring the female back into estrus and increase their own chances of mating. Antichinus mating Sex can be a life-giving force, but for the male Antichinus, it's a deadly one. These small creatures engage in intense mating sessions that last for up to 14 hours straight. And while this may sound like a dream come true for some males of the human species, for the Antichinus, it's a fatal endeavor. These tiny creatures spend the majority of their adult lives in search of sexual partners. During mating season, they mate with as many females as they can find, often engaging in sexual activity for hours at a time, without any breaks for rest or food. The male Antichinus may be willing to sacrifice his own life for the chance to pass on his genes, but for humans, the consequences of such extreme sexual behavior can be devastating. It's a reminder that while nature can be beautiful and awe-inspiring, it can also be brutal and unforgiving. Redback Spider Mating Male Australian redback spiders essentially sacrifice themselves after mating with a female. During copulation, males purposely position their abdomens near the female's mouth even though they are aware that she will most likely consume them. Only around 30% of male redback spiders survive their first mating. Most males do not survive their first time mating, as they have a short lifespan and are likely to die or get eaten by a predator before making it to another female's web. The female is often more than 100 times bigger than the male. Despite this vast size difference between males and females, the mating process is still successful. During copulation, the male redback spider will climb onto the female's web and use his pedipalps to transfer sperm to her reproductive organs. Despite the risks involved, male redback spiders continue to mate with their much larger counterparts, ensuring the survival of their species. Peacock Spider Mating The male peacock spider's courtship dance is a matter of life and death. If the female spider dislikes the male, she may quickly shake her abdomen or attack and eat him up, making courtship a dangerous affair for the suitor. However, in order to mate successfully, the male must perform an intricate dance using a brilliantly colored fan attached to his abdomen. Male jumping spiders are not very selective and will attempt to court any female they come across, even if she's a different species. The female signals her approval or disapproval by turning towards or away from the male. 
If the female approves of the male's dance, he may be allowed to mate, but if she isn't impressed, the male will become her next meal. This high-stakes courtship ritual is a fascinating example of the lengths that animals will go to in order to reproduce and pass on their genes. Penguin mating Emperor penguins have a unique and fascinating mating ritual. Every year during the Antarctic winter, these penguins gather in large groups to mate and lay their eggs. The mating ritual of emperor penguins begins with the male penguins calling out to attract the attention of the females. Once a male has successfully attracted a female, the pair will perform a series of courtship displays. These displays help to establish the bonds between the male and female and ensure that they are a good match. After the courtship displays, the female emperor penguin will lay a single egg and transfer it to the male, who will keep it warm by holding it on his feet and covering it with his brood pouch. While the male is incubating the egg, the female will leave to find food and return several weeks later to relieve the male and take over the incubation duties. Peacock mating Peacocks perform a complex dance during mating season to attract a mate. The male will approach the female with his feathers spread wide and tail feathers held high. He will then begin to strut and display his feathers, often circling around the female to show off his full plumage. If the female is impressed, she may respond by fanning her own feathers and moving closer to the male. Once the female has chosen her mate, the two will mate and the male will fertilize the eggs that the female lays. The male does not provide any parental care for the offspring. Instead, the female is solely responsible for incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks once they hatch. Peacocks are known for their longevity, with some individuals living up to 20 years in the wild. This long lifespan allows them to mate multiple times throughout their lives. Bears mating. Brown bear mating is a complex process that occurs in the late spring or early summer. When the bears emerge from their winter hibernation and begin to establish dominant hierarchies and mating territories. One of the most striking aspects of brown bear mating is the competition among males for access to the females. Dominant males will often fight with each other for the right to mate with females in their territory. And the winner will typically have exclusive mating access to those females. Mating can last for several minutes or even hours and can involve multiple copulations over the course of several days. After mating, the female will typically become pregnant and give birth to her cubs in the winter den. Brown bears have a relatively low reproductive rate, with females typically only producing one or two cubs per litter every other year. Raccoons mating. Raccoons are nocturnal and solitary animals, but they do come together to mate. Matings usually occur in late winter or early spring, with a gestation period lasting about two months. Male raccoons, called boars, will actively seek out females, called sows, during this time. Boars will use their sense of smell to locate sows, often traveling long distances in search of a mate. Once a boar has located a sow, he will engage in a variety of courtship behaviors to attract her. If the sow is receptive, she will respond to the boar's advances by vocalizing and assuming a receptive posture. Female raccoons will mate with multiple males during the mating season, resulting in litters with multiple fathers. Males, too, mate with multiple females. They play no role in raising the young and will leave the female shortly after mating. Sandwich turns mating. Sandwich terns are seabirds that engage in a unique mating ritual involving a courtship dance. During this dance, the male will approach the female while holding a fish in his beak. He will then offer the fish to her as a symbol of his ability to provide for her and any potential offspring. If the female accepts the fish, it signals her interest in the male, and the two will proceed to mate. However, if she rejects the fish, the male will have to try again and look for another potential mate. The courtship dance is a crucial part of the mating process for sandwich turns, as it helps establish a strong bond between the male and female and ensures successful reproduction. In addition to the courtship dance, they engage in other mating behaviors such as displaying their distinctive black crests and bills to attract potential mates.
Sea Lions Mating In this clip, a sea lion can be seen forcing itself upon a penguin, which stunned many. Now, penguins may not be the primary source of their food, but they have been known to eat penguins. This particular behavior unexplainable. Sea lions are known for their unique and interesting mating behaviors. During mating season, males establish territories on beaches where they can attract females. Males use a variety of tactics to attract females, including barking, growling, and even fighting with other males. The actual act of mating occurs in the water, where the male will mount the female and copulate sometimes on land, too. After mating, the female will give birth to a single pup about a year later. Interestingly, male sea lions have been known to display homosexual behaviors during mating season, including mounting and attempting to mate with other males. Maybe that explains this clip. Seahorses mating. Seahorses have one of the most unique reproductive systems in the animal kingdom. The male seahorse is the one who carries and gives birth to the offspring. Yes, you heard that right. The female deposits the eggs into a pouch on the male's abdomen, where they are fertilized and develop into baby seahorses. The male carries the developing embryos for several weeks before going into labor and giving birth to hundreds, sometimes even thousands of tiny seahorses. During the actual mating process, the seahorses intertwine their tails and perform a sort of dance to transfer the eggs from the female to the male's pouch. It's a delicate process that requires precision and coordination, as the eggs must be carefully positioned within the pouch to ensure proper fertilization and development. All in all, the seahorses' reproductive system and mating behaviors are truly unique and fascinating. Hippo mating. Hippos have a unique mating behavior where the males will use their massive jaws to display aggression towards each other. They will open their mouths wide and make loud snapping sounds to intimidate their rivals. Once the dominant male has established his position, he will engage in a series of courtship behaviors with the female. These behaviors may include blowing bubbles, vocalizing, and touching noses. The male will also mount the female in the water, with both hippos submerging their bodies while mating. Interestingly, hippos are also known for their ability to hold their breath for up to six minutes while they are underwater, which is an important adaptation for their mating and aquatic lifestyle. Despite their aggressive behavior towards each other during mating season, hippos typically live in social groups of up to 30 individuals and have been known to display cooperative behavior in caring for young calves. Sloth mating. Sloths, known for their slow moving and sleepy demeanor, have unique and interesting mating behavior. They are solitary animals and their mating habits are no exception. They only come together for a brief period during the breeding season, which occurs once a year. During the mating season, the male will emit a loud mating call to attract a female. Once the female is ready to mate, the pair will climb down from the trees and engage in a slow and gentle mating process that can last for several hours. Unlike most other animals, sloths mate while hanging upside down from a branch. The male will use his long arms to grasp onto the female while mating. After mating, the male sloth will go back to his solitary lifestyle and the female will carry the offspring for about six months before giving birth to a single baby. Panda mating. Giant pandas have a unique mating system that involves females being in estrus for only 24 to 72 hours per year. During this time, males will compete for the opportunity to mate with females. Mating can be a tricky process as pandas are solitary animals that do not often come into contact with each other in the wild. Therefore, breeding programs in captivity have been crucial for the survival of the species. Once a male panda is able to successfully mate with a female, the pregnancy lasts for around three to five months. Pandas give birth to one or two cubs, but it is rare for both to survive. Female pandas are known for their excellent mothering skills, but in the wild, mothers will often only raise one cub at a time. Despite their popularity and iconic status, giant pandas are considered a vulnerable species due to habitat loss and low reproductive rates. Elephant mating. Male African elephants reach sexual maturity between the ages of 12 and 15. 
while females reach maturity around 10 to 12 years of age. During the mating season, which can occur at any time of year, males become more aggressive and territorial and will engage in courtship displays known as must to attract a mate. When a female elephant is ready to mate, she will emit a high-pitched vocalization to let males know that she is receptive. The male will also display other courtship behaviors, such as extending his trunk and wrapping it around a female's trunk or touching her hindquarters. If a female is receptive to the male's advances, she will respond by lifting her tail and allowing the male to mount her. The mating process can last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. After mating, the male will stay close to the female to prevent other males from mating with her. Black Mamba Mating Mating in black mambas is a competitive and intense process. During the spring and summer months, males will search for females to mate with. However, as black mambas are solitary animals, Finding a mate can be a challenge. When a male does find a female, he will engage in combat with other males to compete for mating rights. These fights can be violent and even deadly, with the snakes using their powerful bodies and venomous spites to gain the upper hand. Once a male has successfully defeated his rivals, he will mate with the female. The mating process itself is brief, lasting only a few seconds. After mating, the male will leave and have no further involvement in raising the offspring. Female black mambas will lay a clutch of up to 17 eggs in a protected location and then leave them to hatch on their own. Giraffe mating Mating in giraffes is a unique and fascinating process, which involves a number of strange and interesting behaviors. One of the most notable aspects of giraffes' mating behavior is their violent courtship ritual, known as necking where males use their long necks to swing their heads and hit each other with powerful blows. This behavior is not only used to establish dominance over other males, but also to attract females. Once a male giraffe has established dominance, he will follow the female, sometimes for days, until she allows him to mate. Interestingly, male giraffes have been observed attempting to mate with other males, a behavior known as homosexual mounting which suggests that their sexual behavior may be more complex than previously thought. Giraffes' mating behavior is just one example of the fascinating and sometimes strange ways in which animals have evolved to reproduce and pass on their genes to the next generation. Crocodile mating Crocodiles have unique and fascinating mating behavior. Mating usually occurs in the water during the dry season when the water levels are lower and more concentrated. The male crocodile will approach the female and start to rub his head and snout against her body. He will then try to get on top of her and hold her down, sometimes resulting in a violent struggle. Once a female is attracted, the male will mount her from behind and engage in copulation, which can last anywhere from a few minutes to over an hour. After mating, the female will lay her eggs in a nest that she has built on land which she will fiercely defend from potential predators. Interestingly, the sex of crocodile hatchlings is determined by the temperature of the nest during incubation. If the temperature is high, more males will hatch, while a lower temperature will produce more females. Jackal mating During jackal mating, the male and female engage in a complex series of behaviors that involve vocalizations, body posturing, and physical contact. Mating typically occurs between monogamous pairs during the breeding season. Male jackals will often approach a female with a submissive posture and will nuzzle and lick her genital area to initiate mating. The female may initially resist the male's advances, but eventually she will allow him to mount her. Copulation lasts from minutes to hours because the female jackal will often lock her genitalia around the male's sex organ. This phenomenon called coital tie can last for up to an hour which ensures that the male's sperm is properly transferred to the female's reproductive tract. Interestingly, jackals also exhibit post-copulatory behaviors, such as mutual grooming and sniffing each other's anogenital region. These behaviors are thought to be important in the formation and maintenance of the pair bond. Warthog mating. Mating in warthogs occurs throughout the year with no specific mating season. Males will approach females with a series of grunts and chatters, often following them for extended periods of time until the female allows mating to occur. 
Interestingly, warthogs have a unique reproductive adaptation known as delayed implantation. After mating, the fertilized egg will float freely in the female's uterus for several months before implanting into the uterine wall and continuing development. This allows warthogs to time the birth of their offspring to coincide with periods of optimal food availability, which can vary greatly depending on seasonal and environmental factors. During mating, male warthogs have also been observed engaging in aggressive competition with one another for access to females. This includes physical fights, such as pushing and shoving, as well as vocalizations, such as grunting and growling. Females may also exhibit aggressive behavior towards males if they feel harassed. Mountain Lions Mating Mountain lions, also known as pumas, are solitary animals that only come together during mating season. Mating typically occurs from December to March, with the peak period being in January and February. During this time, the males will travel long distances in search of receptive females. Male mountain lions use urine and scratch marks to mark their territory and leave their scent behind. This helps to establish their dominance and signal to females that they are ready to mate. However, it is ultimately up to the female to choose her mate, and she will typically select the strongest and most dominant male available. They do not form long-term pair bonds. Males will mate with multiple females, Females do the same. After mating, the male and female will go their separate ways. There is no parental care provided by males, and the female is solely responsible for raising and protecting her cubs. Ant mating. The queen ant produces a special scent. This scent is a powerful attractant for winged male ants from other nests who are drawn to the queen. The male ants that are attracted to the queen are enormous, similar in size to the queen herself. However, the journey to becoming a consort of the queen is not an easy one. The male must prove his fitness to the colony. The other ants, initially viewing the male as prey, must be convinced that he is a suitable consort for the queen. If the male is accepted, he will mate with the queen in the royal chamber. However, his time as a consort is short-lived. When his job is done, he retires from the royal chamber and dies. With this sacrifice, he will father several million offspring, ensuring the continued success of the colony. Honeybee mating. Mating in the animal kingdom can often be a life or death affair. Honeybee males get to mate with the queen only once before they die. When the queen bee emerges from her hive in search of mating partners, drones will swarm around her, hoping for a chance to mate. The fastest and bravest drones will be the ones to mount the queen mid-air and mate with her. However, the cost of this act is steep. Once a drone ejaculates, his testicles will explode and his endophallus will be left behind inside the queen. The drone then falls to the ground and dies. One would think that the other drones would learn from their brother's fates, but the competition is fierce and the next drone will take out the endophallus left by the previous drone and attempt to mate with the queen himself. This cycle continues until the queen has mated with as many drones as possible. Nubian Ibex mating. In some places in the Middle East, there are special pools where female Ibexes come to drink water every day. These pools are guarded by a male Ibex who wants to mate with the females. Other males also want to mate with the females, so they fight each other to see who gets to guard the pool. The male Ibexes use their heads to fight and can keep fighting for up to an hour. Sometimes a third male might join in, making it even harder to win. But if a predator is near, they will stop fighting and run away because they need to be careful. This fighting and guarding is important for the male Ibexes to mate and pass on their genes to the next generation. Despite the risks, mating is a crucial part of the Ibex's survival, and the males will stop at nothing to secure their place as the dominant male. Blue-footed boobies. The blue-footed booby is a species of bird that is known for its unique courtship ritual. Male blue-footed boobies perform their famous courtship ritual. The male's bright blue feet are a key component of this ritual, and they help attract a mate. The brighter the blue feet of the male, the more attractive he is to females. This is because the brightness of the blue indicates the health and quality of the male. 
During the mating ritual, the male will also present the female with a gift, usually a stick or some other small item. The female will then decide whether to accept the gift or not. If impressed, the female will respond by lifting up her own feet and showing them off to the male. This back and forth display continues until the female chooses a male to mate with. If the male is successful in impressing the female, they will mate and produce offspring. Golden Eagle Mating The Golden Eagle is a majestic bird of prey known for its impressive aerial displays during the mating season. Males will perform a sky dance, soaring high into the sky and then dropping down in a series of swoops and dives. This dance is not only a display of strength and agility, but also a way to attract a mate. Once a female is interested, the male will bring her gifts of food and twigs to build a nest. They may also engage in sky dancing, where the pair will lock talons and free fall together before releasing and flying off in opposite directions. This behavior is thought to strengthen their bond and reinforce their pair bonding. Once the pair has formed a bond, they will begin building a nest together, typically on a high cliff ledge or in a tall tree. Once the eggs hatch, the male will continue to provide food for the female and their offspring. Bears mating. Brown bear mating is a complex process that occurs in the late spring or early summer. When the bears emerge from their winter hibernation and begin to establish dominance hierarchies and mating territories. One of the most striking aspects of brown bear mating is the competition among males for access to the females. Dominant males will often fight with each other for the right to mate with females in their territory, and the winner will typically have exclusive mating access to those females. Mating can last for several minutes or even hours and can involve multiple copulations over the course of several days. After mating, the female will typically become pregnant and give birth to her cubs in the winter den. Brown bears have a relatively low reproductive rate, with females typically only producing one or two cubs per litter every other year. Raccoons mating. Raccoons are nocturnal and solitary animals, but they do come together to mate. Matings usually occur in late winter or early spring, with a gestation period lasting about two months. Male raccoons, called boars, will actively seek out females, called sows, during this time. Boars will use their sense of smell to locate sows, often traveling long distances in search of a mate. Once a boar has located a sow, he will engage in a variety of courtship behaviors to attract her. If the sow is receptive, she will respond to the boar's advances by vocalizing and assuming a receptive posture. Female raccoons will mate with multiple males during the mating season, resulting in litters with multiple fathers. Males, too, mate with multiple females. They play no role in raising the young and will leave the female shortly after mating. Sandwich turns mating. Sandwich terns are seabirds that engage in a unique mating ritual involving a courtship dance. During this dance, the male will approach the female while holding a fish in his beak. He will then offer the fish to her as a symbol of his ability to provide for her and any potential offspring. If the female accepts the fish, it signals her interest in the male, and the two will proceed to mate. However, if she rejects the fish, the male will have to try again and look for another potential mate. The courtship dance is a crucial part of the mating process for sandwich turns, as it helps establish a strong bond between the male and female and ensures successful reproduction. In addition to the courtship dance, they engage in other mating behaviors such as displaying their distinctive black crests and bills to attract potential mates. Sea Lions Mating in this clip, a sea lion can be seen forcing itself upon a penguin, which stunned many. Now, penguins may not be the primary source of their food, but they have been known to eat penguins. This particular behavior is unexplainable. Sea lions are known for their unique and interesting mating behaviors. During mating season, males establish territories on beaches where they can attract females. Males use a variety of tactics to attract females, including barking, growling, and even fighting with other males. The actual act of mating occurs in the water, where the male will mount the female and copulate sometimes on land, too. 
After mating, the female will give birth to a single pup about a year later. Interestingly, male sea lions have been known to display homosexual behaviors during mating season, including mounting and attempting to mate with other males. Maybe that explains this clip. Sea turtle mating. Sea turtles mate in the water rather than on land, and it's a noisy affair. The male sea turtle uses his sharp claws to hold onto the female's shell while he attempts to align his tail with hers. Once he has found the right position, he will begin to copulate with her. After mating, the female sea turtle will crawl up onto the beach and dig a nest in the sand where she will lay her eggs. Depending on the species, a female sea turtle can lay between 50 and 200 eggs in a single nest. The sex of the sea turtle hatchlings is determined by the temperature of the sand in which the eggs are laid. Warmer sand produces more females, while cooler sand produces more males. This makes sea turtle populations vulnerable to climate change, as rising temperatures could skew the gender ratios and lead to a decline in the population. Jacanas mating Jacanas are a type of bird found in wetlands and swamps in tropical regions. During mating season, male jacanas perform an elaborate courtship display to attract a female. Once a male has found a mate, he builds a floating nest in the water where the female will lay her eggs. After the eggs are laid, the male takes over most of the responsibility for incubating and caring for the young. In fact, male jacanas are known for their exceptional parenting skills, as they will aggressively defend their chicks from predators and other males. This is quite unusual in the bird world, where it is typically the female that takes on most of the parenting duties. This is unusual in the bird world as most bird species are monogamous, meaning they mate with one partner for life. The mating and parenting behaviors of jacanas are truly unique and fascinating to observe. Koala mating. Koalas may seem cute and cuddly, but their mating behavior is anything but romantic. Female koalas have a tough time during mating season as they are often pursued relentlessly by male koalas. These males will follow the females around and emit a loud, bellowing call to let other males know that the female is taken. But the competition doesn't stop there. Male koalas will also engage in fierce battles with each other, using their sharp claws and teeth to defend their territory and mating rights. Once a male koala wins the right to mate with a female, the actual mating process is brief and uneventful. It lasts only a few seconds and is usually initiated by the female. Interestingly, koalas have a bifurcated reproductive system, meaning that females have two separate uteri and two vaginas. This allows them to produce two different types of milk for their young, one high in protein and the other high in fat. Lemurs mating. Lemurs are primates endemic to Madagascar and have a unique and interesting mating system. Most lemur species are seasonal breeders with a specific breeding season that occurs once per year. During this breeding season, males will compete for access to females, often engaging in fierce battles to establish dominance. Once a male has established dominance, he will mate with multiple females within his group. Interestingly, some lemur species also practice a behavior called mate guarding, in which males closely follow the female after mating to prevent other males from mating with her. This behavior can be especially important for females that are highly desired by other males. During the breeding season, female lemurs emit a scent from their genital area, which alerts males to their readiness to mate. This scent can be detected by males from long distances, allowing them to locate females that are receptive to mating. Capybara mating. Often found relaxing on the beach alongside caimans or even hitching a ride on the back of an alligator, it seems like capybaras are friends with just about every animal they encounter. When it comes to mating, capybaras have a unique system in which females establish dominance over males. During the breeding season, females will fight amongst themselves to determine which one will mate with the dominant male. The dominant female will then mate with the dominant male, and other females may also mate with him if they get the chance. Interestingly, capybaras also engage in communal nursing, 
which means that mothers will allow other females to nurse their young alongside their own offspring. This behavior helps to ensure the survival of their young and reinforces the social bonds between the animals in the group. Their babies are born fully developed and are able to walk and swim within hours of being born. Lion mating. It's not uncommon for lions to engage in multiple rounds of mating in a day. But a lion couple in the kingdom of Rwanda has taken it to the next level. The newly coupled lion and lioness have been seen mating over 100 times a day for the past four days, which is a staggering display of animal passion. Once the female is ready to mate, the process can be quick and intense. The male lion will assert his dominance through biting and scratching, and the female will submit to his advances. It's a raw and primal display of animal behavior that has captivated observers for centuries. But what's even more interesting is that lion mating can involve multiple males. In some cases, a female lion will mate with multiple males to ensure the survival of her offspring. This behavior, known as polyandry, is relatively rare in the animal kingdom, but is common among lions. The African Buffalo Mating During mating season, male buffaloes engage in intense battles for dominance, using their large horns to fight and establish mating rights. Only the strongest males are chosen by females for mating, and mothers may even abandon their young if they sense that they are not strong enough to survive. Mating is a difficult process for African buffaloes, also known as Cape buffaloes, due to the challenging life they lead in the African savanna. Being one of the primary prey animals for predators such as lions and crocodiles, they must constantly balance the need to reproduce with the risk of predation. Furthermore, female buffaloes must protect their young from predators while also searching for scarce food and water in the savanna. Despite these challenges, the strong social bonds and protective instincts of African buffaloes have enabled them to persist in their harsh environment. Black Rhino Mating During mating season, rhino females will often actively resist mating attempts from males. This is because male rhinos can be aggressive and may harm the female during the mating process. As a result, female black rhinos will often run away from males or even charge at them to ward them off. Mating in rhinos can be a complex and sometimes violent process. Male rhinos are known to be very territorial and will fight with other males to establish dominance and mating rights. These fights can be incredibly aggressive and can even result in serious injury or death. When a male rhino finds a receptive female, he will typically approach her slowly and sniff her rear end to check if she is ready to mate. If she is receptive, she will remain still and allow the male to mount her from behind. Successful mating is crucial to ensuring the survival of these magnificent creatures in the wild. Cheetah mating. Cheetahs are not only fast in speed, but also in sex, as their coupling period lasts only 20 to 30 seconds. The world's fastest land animal sure is fast. These big cats become sexually mature between 18 to 23 months of age. Male cheetahs will follow around females in heat for days, engaging in all sorts of charming behaviors like scent marking and yowling until the female is ready to mate. And when the moment finally arrives, it's over in a flash blink and you'll miss it. During this time, the male will engage in behaviors such as scent marking and vocalizations to attract the female's attention and signal his intent to mate. Interestingly, cheetahs have a unique reproductive system that allows females to conceive even if they only mate once during their estrus cycle. This is due to the release of multiple eggs during ovulation, which increases the likelihood of fertilization and pregnancy. <laughs> Flamingo mating. Flamingo mating behavior is a beautiful and unique spectacle to witness. Male flamingos gather together in groups known as flamboyants and perform synchronized displays to attract females. The displays involve elaborate movements, including head flagging, wing salutes, and marching in unison. Once a male has caught the eye of a female, they begin to engage in preening each other's feathers, a behavior that helps to strengthen their bond. The male then proceeds to perform a dance where he walks around the female with his head held high and wings extended. If the female is receptive, she will call out to him, and they will stand side by side, their necks entwined. 
After mating, the pair will work together to build a nest out of mud and twigs, which they will use to lay and incubate their eggs. Flamingos are monogamous during the breeding season, meaning they form pairs and mate with the same partner each year. Leopard mating. Did you know that leopards can mate up to 100 times a day? That's right, these big cats have quite the appetite when it comes to reproduction. During mating season, which typically occurs in the rainy season, male leopards will roam their territory in search of receptive females. Once a male has found a female, he will follow her closely, sometimes for several days, until she is ready to mate. The mating process itself is brief, lasting only a few seconds, but it can occur repeatedly over a period of several days. Interestingly, female leopards have the ability to control their own fertility. They can hold on to a male's sperm for an extended period of time before fertilization occurs. This helps to ensure that the female will conceive during optimal conditions, such as during a period of abundant prey. After mating, the male and female go their separate ways. Vulture mating. Vulture mating is not as glamorous as some other animals. It usually takes place on the ground and is a relatively quick process. The male will approach the female and start pecking her neck or beak, which is a sign of courtship. Once she is receptive, the pair will mate. Vultures don't build nests in the traditional sense. They are scavengers and often lay their eggs in abandoned nests of other birds, on the ledges of cliffs or on the ground. The female will lay one or two eggs, and both parents will take turns incubating the eggs. Interestingly, vultures have a unique defense mechanism for protecting their young. When threatened, the parents will regurgitate a foul-smelling substance at the predator, which can deter them from attacking. Vultures are also known for their excellent eyesight, which they use to locate carrion from great distances. Snow Leopards Mating Snow leopards are known to be elusive and solitary animals, so observing their mating behavior in the wild is rare. When snow leopards are ready to mate, the male will approach the female and begin a series of vocalizations, such as growls, hisses, and moans, to express his intentions. The female may respond by growling and hissing back, but eventually she will become receptive to the male and allow him to mate. Snow leopards mate during the winter months of January to mid-March. The males will often follow the scent trail left by females and compete with other males for the opportunity to mate. The male will approach the female and they will engage in a brief mating ritual, which lasts about five to seven days. The pair will then go their separate ways. Snow leopard populations are under threat due to habitat loss, poaching, and climate change. Praying Mantis Mating The praying mantis is known for its unique and somewhat gruesome mating behavior. While the male praying mantis may have a brief moment of pleasure, it often results in his demise at the hands, or rather mandibles, of the female. After a courtship dance and seduction by pheromones, the female praying mantis invites the male to mate. However, the act of mating often results in the male being decapitated by the female. Female praying mantises don't always kill their mates after mating. While some species do exhibit this behavior, others don't and in some cases, the male can even continue to mate with the female for some time after his head is removed. One theory is that it's a form of sexual cannibalism that ensures the survival of the female's offspring. By consuming the male, the female gains vital nutrients that she can use to support the growth of her eggs. Angler Fish Mating The mating behavior of some angler fish species is unique and bizarre. Males become one with their partners, with their tissues fusing together. These males are much smaller than females, only about 1 one sixtieth of their partner's size, and roughly a half a million times lighter. Their sole purpose is to pass on their genes, but finding a mate is complicated in the dark depths of the ocean where they live. To find a mate, a super mini male has to track a species-specific pheromone that the female emits. When he finds her, he bites her in the most romantic way possible, and then his mouth dissolves, and his tissues fuse with hers. The pair will eventually share everything, including a circulatory system. They will remain that way forever. She provides the nutrients, and he fertilizes the eggs until death do their part.
Even then, they don't separate. And we'll see you in the next video. Fireflies have a complex mating ritual that begins with the emergence of female fireflies in their adult form. These females only have a few weeks to live, and their main goal is to find a suitable mate. As the sun sets, thousands of male fireflies light up the dusk, hoping to impress the female audience with their flashing lights. However, females are not easily impressed and are looking for something special. They prefer males that can sustain a long flash, as this indicates they have a larger nuptial gift, which is food for their developing eggs. When a female spots a male with potential, she opens the conversation by emitting a flash of her own. The male will only approach if the female responds with a specific light pattern, and if she does, they will mate. After mating and laying their eggs, all the adults die, so this spectacular light show only lasts for a few short weeks each summer. Snowy Owls Mating Snowy owls are monogamous and mate for life. The mating season for them typically occurs in the late winter months. During this time, the male snowy owl will perform a mating dance for the female. He will puff up his feathers and make a series of hoots and calls to attract the female's attention. If the female is receptive, she will allow the male to mate with her. After mating, the female snowy owl will lay a clutch of 3 to 11 eggs. The eggs will be incubated by both parents for around 32 days until they hatch. The male snowy owl is responsible for bringing food to the nest during this time, while the female incubates the eggs. Once the eggs have hatched, both parents will continue to care for the young owlets. The owlets will remain in the nest for several weeks until they are able to fly and hunt for themselves. Albatross Mating The albatross mating ritual involves a beautiful dance performed by both the male and female. The dance is an important part of the courtship process as it helps to establish a bond between the pair and allows them to assess each other's fitness and capability. Once a pair has formed, they will mate for life, returning to the same breeding site each year. Albatrosses are known for their long lifespans, with some individuals living up to 60 years or more. This means they have plenty of time to perfect their dance moves and find the perfect mate. During the breeding season, both males and females will incubate the egg and take turns to forage for food. The bond between a pair of albatrosses is strong, and they will often greet each other with the same dance that they performed during their courtship, reaffirming their commitment to each other. Polar Bears Mating Polar bear mating is a complex process that involves tracking, sizing up, and testing potential partners. In the vast, empty landscape of the Arctic, Finding a mate can be a challenge, but polar bears have an excellent sense of smell that can detect another bear from over the horizon. Males can spend weeks tracking the scent of a female who is ready to mate. Once a male and female find each other, they engage in a courtship ritual that includes playing and testing each other's fitness. The female will test the male's ability to keep up with her and his fitness level, as she will be relying on him to provide strong and healthy genes for her offspring. If the male passes the female's tests, they will mate and produce offspring. The female will raise her cubs alone, devoting herself to them for two to three years. Hammerhead Sharks Mating Hammerhead sharks are known for their unique mating behavior. Like many other species of sharks, they reproduce using internal fertilization. Hammerhead sharks have a complex courtship ritual that involves both the male and female swimming in circles around each other, while the male tries to bite the female's pectoral fins to assert dominance. If the male is successful in his courtship display, he will then position himself beside the female and use his claspers to transfer sperm. Female hammerhead sharks have a reproductive cycle that lasts between one and two years, and they are capable of storing sperm from multiple males for extended periods of time. This allows them to mate with multiple partners and potentially increase their chances of producing offspring with strong genetic diversity. When the baby hammerhead sharks, also known as pups, are ready to be born, the female will give birth to them in shallow, protected areas such as swamps. Snow Bunting Mating Snow buntings are small, sparrow-like birds that breed in the Arctic tundra. Their breeding season is short and they have a very distinctive courtship display that is used to attract a mate. 
During the display, the male snow bunting will puff out his chest and sing a series of trills and whistles while flapping his wings. If the female is interested, she will respond by fluffing out her feathers and calling back to the male. Once the pair has bonded, they will build a nest together on the ground, usually among rocks or in a shallow depression. During the winter months, both male and female snow buntings have white feathers that help them blend in with the snow and ice. However, as spring approaches and the breeding season begins, the males start to molt their feathers and develop a breeding plumage. Galapagos Tortoise Mating Galapagos tortoise mating is a fascinating and unique process. These giant tortoises are the largest in the world, and their mating behavior is no less impressive. During the mating season, male tortoises become highly territorial and will fight with other males for access to females. Once a male has established his dominance, he will start to search for a mate. Mating usually takes place between January and August and can last for several hours. When the male finds a receptive female, he will approach her and start to nuzzle her neck and head. The female will either accept or reject the male's advances. If she accepts him, she will stretch her head and neck out to make it easier for the male to mount her. The male will then climb onto the female's back, using his front legs to hold onto her shell. Kangaroo mating Male kangaroos often fight for the right to mate with a female kangaroo. These fights can be brutal, with the males boxing each other with their powerful hind legs and occasionally biting each other with their sharp teeth. The fights are usually only a few minutes long and typically end when one of the males retreats. The male with the strongest odor usually wins the fight and has a greater chance of attracting a mate. The winner then proceeds to mate with the female. Once a male has successfully mated, he will move on to find another mate. The female kangaroo will typically give birth to one joey per year. Interestingly, female kangaroos can delay the development of a fertilized egg for several months until conditions are optimal for birth. This allows them to time the birth of their young to coincide with favorable abundant food and water. Prairie Dog Mating During the mating season, male prairie dogs will compete for the attention of females by performing a series of elaborate displays, such as jumping and chasing. Once a female chooses a mate, they will engage in a brief courtship ritual before copulation occurs. Interestingly, female prairie dogs are known to be quite promiscuous and will often mate with multiple males during the breeding season. This behavior is thought to increase genetic diversity and improve the chances of offspring survival. Prairie dogs live in social groups called coteries or clans. These groups contain one or two dominant males, a number of yearling males, and a majority of females. All of these members are related except for the dominant male who would have been born in another territory and dispersed. They are known for their adorable appearance and distinctive vocalizations. Fossa mating The fossa has a unique mating system that is different from many other mammals. Rather than the males competing for the attention of females and females are the ones in charge, they will choose a mate and initiate the mating process. When a female is in heat, she will release a strong scent to attract males. Several males will come to her location and begin to compete for her attention. The female will then choose a mate based on his size, strength, and the quality of his scent. Interestingly, female fosses have a pseudopenis, like hyenas, which is used during mating to help grip onto the male. This makes the mating process more successful and ensures that the male will not escape before the copulation is complete. Fossa mating is a unique and interesting process, where the females are the ones in charge and have a special adaptation to make sure the mating is successful. From the amazing courtship rituals to the violent battles, we hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the fascinating and diverse world of animal mating behavior. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing content. And let us know in the comments which animal's mating behavior surprised you the most. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.